In this episode, we're going to take a look at some editing functions. First, I'm going to copy, then paste, a section of the discharge from this first pump to the second one. I'm using AutoCAD copy commands. So I select, I press copy, I pick a base point, then a second point, and there we go. I've copied the discharge setup. Now, of course, this elbow up here isn't quite right, so I'll delete it, extend the pipe so it meets the header, and it'll put a T in for me just like that. Next thing I think is this pipe, I want to be exactly at 10 feet. So the bottom of pipe, I want to be exactly at 10 feet. So I pick the elevation grip. For the bottom of pipe, I type in 10 feet, and it'll move my pipe up keeping everything connected. Toward the other end of my pipe, I can take a look at what happens if I move a segment horizontally. Notice again, using the move grip, everything stays connected. If I just wanted to move a single segment of pipe, I would use the move command. Select the item I wish to move, and use again my AutoCAD to move it. Notice at the breakpoints I get little disconnect drip markers. I'm going to reconnect up my elbows by erasing that moved section and putting a new one in. If you don't want things to stay together when you grip move, you can disconnect them. Here I'll select the bolt and gasket on this check valve and erase them. That disconnects the valve from the flange below as seen by this disconnect drip. And now I'm going to move this section of pipe along the header, expecting it to disconnect there where I have it unbolted. To get it back to the starting point, I'm going to do a couple of undos. Just like AutoCAD, you can undo any of your operations. Now I'm going to change size of this discharge line. I'm going to do that by selecting the items, and then in the Properties palette, change 6 inches to 4 inches. And just like that, it changes the size of my pipe and all my fittings, keeps everything connected just like they were before. It even removes the reducer and inserts the reducer as needed. Finally, I'm going to erase this gate valve. Notice when I erase it, it takes the mating flange with it. I'm going to undo that. If I really just wanted the valve gone and leave the flange, I can do a control erase, or actually a control select, to just select this valve for erasing. And again, undo to get back to my starting condition. That was just a couple of quick ideas of how you can edit the pipe, see how the grips will keep everything connected as you move things around, how you can change size or just as easily change spec, and how the system will react appropriately. We hope you'll stay tuned for more episodes as we continue to edit piping, produce orthos, produce isos, and show you how to use AutoCAD Plant 3D in other common 3D plant project tasks.